What's good YouTube? Cody here. Got a great video for you. Just a little bit of a mini scheme I wanted to do on defense. Um, as we're looking ahead to Madden 23, um, there's basically just blitzes that have been good at Madden for years. This is one of them, and it's the Bear defense. I love the Bear defense. I think that it's one of my favorite defenses year in and year out. I want to show you something that I think a lot of people overlook this year due to the fact that linebackers don't jump. But if you're going to be blitzing a lot, and Mills kind of taught us this with his 4-3 even 6-1 defense, if you're going to be using a lot of pressure, you don't necessarily have to have safeties on the field. Um, and so I wanted to give you a video today that is one of the best blitzes in the game that really nobody's talked about this year, and that's the 46 bear under. It's a universal pressure. You can run this out of cover two, cover three, cover one, doesn't really matter. And I'm going to show it to you against the best offense in the game, which is the gun bunch. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you join our Patreon if you want to learn all my offensive and defensive ebooks. The link is down in the description for just 10 bucks a month. You get access to everything over there. Got a lot of great content planned for Madden 23. And also, you'll be able to get all of the content we put out for Madden 22. That way, you can kind of get yourself um, kind of prepared for Madden 23. Okay, guys, so real simple defense here. And I like to run this out of either the cover three or the cover two. Um, we're going to show it to you out of the out of the cover three today. But again, you can kind of adjust your co coverage as, as you need to. Uh, one thing I did want to quickly say is you do want to run this defense on base align real quick, just because we're going to do a little bit of a mini scheme here with this. I personally like to recommend that not only we're going to run it on base line, we're also going to put our hooks on five. And you can put your curl flats on five or zero depending on if you know what you want to do there and then I like to leave my flats on default or if I want to drop coverage defense I'll put these on 30 or 25 so this is a bear defense like I said it's kind of similar to 4-3 even 6-1 I actually think it's better pressure um, at least more consistent against bunch in particular and you see here that it's real simple literally you're just gonna blitz both of your linebackers you're gonna grab this user defender here right here Levante David and then what I like to do is you can contain um, if you want to. That's pretty much it. And the blitz is going to be set up. You're just going to stand right there. And as you can see, you're going to absolutely scream off of the left edge. Now, you'll notice with this blitz that you, when you contain, the blitz is much better. The left side blitz is much better with a contain. But the right side is not so much as good. So you can manually re-blitz him uh, just straight down. It's kind of helpful, especially against Bunch. Now you see you get a nice, clean, double-edge pass rush. Now, this is also really good because there's one additional adjustment that we can do that is going to create a really interesting pressure, and that is to pinch our defensive line. So just by pinching our defensive line, you'll notice here that we're still getting our double-edge pressure, but I want to show you what's going to happen whenever your opponent does the most popular blocking scheme in all of Madden, and that is they block their tight end. So let's say that they block their tight end, and what you're going to notice with this defense here, um, I'm just going to block my tight end, and what you'll see is a lot of times you're going to get this clean A-gap pressure right down the middle, just like that at the quarterback. Really good little pressure, um, especially against the tight end pass protection. Now, another thing that makes this really, really good, at least in my opinion, against Gun Bunch, is let's say that they block their running back. If they block their running back, then not only is your pressure on the right side going to come in, but your looping pressure is going to come um, off of this left edge. There, I messed up with my user. Let me show you that one more time. Uh, again, if you pinch your line, just that simple adjustment, it can make this defense really interesting, specifically against, um, specifically against um, Gun Bunch. So anyways, what you see here, there's our pressure, and we're just going to do that. And as you can see here, the contain is going to come off the edge. Now, if you ever have issues with the running back pass protection, it's going to be because we pinched the line. Um, so just real quick, uh, just so you know, if your linebacker ever comes out of that gap too, by the way, just keep pressing your coverage. That's all you need to do with that. Uh, but anyways, here, let me just show you this pressure off the left side. I don't know why it's not coming in. I think I'm standing on the wrong side with my user. But basically... This pressure off of the right side, or off of the left side, I apologize, is really good if they're blocking the running back consistently. So let's say that they're blocking the running back consistently. We can actually turn this into like nickel 335 wide. So once we hit them with this A gap a couple times, we can stand on this side of the center. And what this will do is if they block the running back, you'll see now we're going to be able to get that pressure off the left edge. And you, as you can see there, we're also getting gap pressure off of the right side of the defense. So this is one of my favorite blitzes because it's really, really simple to set up. Literally, it's really easy. And then you see how incredible the pressure is. We're getting gap pressure, disengages. This is one of those blitzes that's just going to come in uh, consistently. 
Now, the, the beauty of this is it's not just a max pressure blitz. And if we wanted to run the cover two, the reason that I like this cover two defense, especially against gun bunch, is you can, with this defense, vert hook this right side guy, um, this right side backer, and then you can have a really nice little five-man pressure that is really, really good, specifically if they are blocking their running back and putting their tight end on a route. You'll see that vertical hook will do a really good job of kind of lurking underneath and trying to defend the tight end wheel route. Another really interesting thing about this defense is the fact that you can really use these safeties um, in the box. So one of my favorite adjustments is to take this safety uh, right here and put him in man-to-man -man coverage. Um, I can basically cross-man him. Um, I need to do this before I press. So let me get him out of a press. There we go. And what you'll see here. But you can put these safeties in man-to-man -man coverage. So one of my favorite things, we can roll this coverage like so and then man this guy up on you know, on this, on this tight end, but you can do this real simple deal. And if you wanted to create cover two, it's really easy to do that. And we can have double hard flats and really good pressure. As you can see, it's really hard to, you know, hit something there because I can lurk underneath the defense. Now, again, before you, before you press, um, or I'm sorry, before you base align, if you do, if you put these safeties in adjustments, this middle safety that's deep, he can go into an adjustment against the tight end so you would do something like this if you will and then what i would probably recommend is rolling this guy into the outside third so now you see here we have the tight end man to man one of my other really favorite adjustments um with this defense is to take this outside third guy and put him in outside quarter that'll just help defend you know some of those routes like that and i love the outside quarter the bunch side guy i know this pressure is going to come super fast we're sending uh six at the quarterback and we can play different types of coverages off of this as well. So this is just one of my favorite little tricks. Another really, I'm gonna show you something else that's really underrated against uh, Bunch in just a second here. But as you can see, the pressure does really well and the coverage, we just wanna kinda like force them into a bad read. That's really all we're trying to do. Um, another thing that I wanted to touch on real quick is when you're standing right here, a lot of times they're not going to be like super, it's not like they're gonna always put their running back on a route. One of my favorite things to do here is to just take this this backside guy, um, and you see here that I can put this safety on a left and man coverage on the running back, and I can basically take my user and put him in man coverage here, and then if I wanted to, I could use it with this guy. Um, this is another just option of the defense, just gets you more of a plus one coverage, uh, as you can see, and then you can kind of lurk that crosser. Now let's talk about, um, you know, kind of a, a little bit of a deal here with this, and that's the gap press. Uh, what you'll see with the gap press here is we just want to basically globally blitz our linebackers. Uh, we wish we'll make sure we got our guys in the same gap, but this is our man-to-man -man version of this defense. Now with this one, it's a little bit finicky, but what I like to do um, is to just take the, the slot corner or the slot receiver, as you can see, is uncovered. So we just need to cover him up there, and then I love to man this running back up because if the running back blocks, I want you to watch what this safety will do in coverage. You see here the running back blocks. You see he's going to go guard that tight end, basically cross manning to the tight end. Now I said I wanted to show you something kind of unique um, out of bunch or specifically for bunch that is really, really good. And that is the rule of three in the trips sets. Um, you can use this against trips tight end as well. It's really good against bunch and trips. Um, the tight end is one of the most important routes in the bunch formation. And I'm just going to illustrate this by manning this guy up on circle, manning this guy up on RB. I'm going to blitz these guys down um, just to kind of simulate the pressure, if you will. And then, you know, I'm going to actually try to, you know, get the blitz to kind of have some problems. But anyways, I'm going to inside quarter this defender. Okay, see, I can put him in the inside quarter. This is a match zone. He's going to always jump to the number three receiver on the field. So what you'll see is he'll literally go into coverage on the number three receiver, which in this case is the tight end. So he'll cross right into this really interesting area. It's really helpful for defending. It's really kind of a glitchy adjustment, and it's very effective for defending tight end corners, tight end wheels. Um, you'll see with this, um, the tight end wheel is a little bit more difficult uh, with this. You'll see if I really try to like really jerk the ball in there. But I mean, again, you could get a knockout there relatively easily. An acrobat pick is not, um, it's really not uncommon. 
Another thing that you can do though, is you can use either safety. So I can put this defender in the inside quarter, still be able to bring this guy down and, and you know, kind of hover and get my pressure. But what you'll notice is now I got a little bit more of a head start on this guy. See how he kind of lurks that tight end wheel. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind with this. Another thing that you can do that's really cool is we can, um, we can pretty easily do an inside quarter with a shade inside over here on the left side. And we basically don't need a safety in the middle of the field to defend the bunch trail anymore because what you'll see is because of that inside quarter or that outside quarter it's going to match him now you must have zone drops off but you see how that takes away that post over there on that side so a legitimate i think a really like fun bunch defense especially if they're blocking their running back um especially if they're blocking their running back a lot could realistically be something like this you know we're going to send our pressure and then you know they're blocking the running back they're probably gonna send their tight end out on a route so what i like to do is create a cover two over here with this inside quarter that i know is going to go defend the tight end and then you see how the coverage kind of rolls into something like this so you could do all this relatively quickly out of cover two because again your pressure is so easy to set up but what you'll see here is they're going to block the running back once i see the running backs not not on a route now i'm free to kind of get up in this area right here make that a late throw and then get on the crosser it's a really good way to handle verticals and then let's say that they're you know let's say that they're running this and let's say that they are um you know blocking or not blocking their tight end they're going to send five out if they send five out i would recommend the five man version of the blitz which it basically is this where we're just going to drop you know we're going to play a cover two a lot of times if i send five i'm typically going to be in this cover two I can't tell you how much I really do like this outside quarter, just a solo matchup on that guy right there. And then what we can uh, we can do off of this is we can just take, you know, our linebacker here, put him in that vertical hook, you know, maybe shade down, put the re, re cloud flat. And then I've got that outside quarter there to stop the, you know, the, um, the route to the running back. So what that does is it leaves me with this guy. And as you can see in a cover two defense, I can actually put him in the right zone uh to be able to go guard the tight end so now i'm really getting adjusted with this i'm going to use this running back and you see how good this little five man pressure is um as long as i can get back on that verticals play uh and then lastly let's talk about some max coverage so again this blitz is really good against every formation like i said you want to run it on baseline we'll go over trips um let's go over trips first and then we'll talk about we'll talk about um we'll talk about um was my train of thought uh we'll talk about the the coverage defense so with trips it's a little different because you have this play action that's the main thing and then you also have a different blocking scheme the tight end and the running back are on the same side of the defense but when i press you're going to see that it kind of comes into focus now with trips i like to show blitz the reason i like to show blitz is going to bring this guy in here it's going to bring this guy down in the middle of the field and then this guy is now out here to be able to kind of help him get out there on a deep half zone. Um, and then, of course, we have the cloud that's going to reroute that over there. Now, with trips, you don't really have to worry, honestly, about flat routes um, because the blitz is going to come in so fast. But first and foremost, we'll just show the blitz. So I'm just going to globally blitz my linebackers. Typically, I'll stand in this gap right here. Now, against trips, I don't always um, hit the contain rush because there's not necessarily a point to, at least against trips. So what you'll see here is the pressure will come off both edges and you see how fast it comes in. So it's very similar, um, very, very similar to 4-3 even. Um, whoops, messed up my, my deal. Uh, but it's very similar to 4-3 even 6-1. Now, another thing that's, if I, let me just show you real quick. If I did contain, um, again, you want to be opposite of the running back if you're going to contain. Uh, and what you'll see here is the blitz is just not as good by any means, in my opinion. So really against bunch, it's better to contain. And against trips, it's better not to contain. Just with the way that the play, um, you know, just with the way the play works. So we're kind of sitting right here, and you might be thinking, okay, so like, what's your coverage plan? Well, I know that they have to block one of their running back or their tight end um, to be able to, like, I know they have to block one of those those two people. Okay. So what I like to do is man to man up that corner on the tight end, and then from there it's actually a fairly straightforward coverage we're just going to inside quarter this guy and what he's going to do is he's going to match that crosser that number three receiver in the trips formation and then if the running back and the tight end both going route i'll go to him 
But if you see the running back staying to block or the tight end staying to block, then I know I got to get over and kind of help looking for any quick slants or quick hitches. So you'll see here, this is pretty much the defense. Um, it's absolutely, it's really, really good in my opinion against this setup. The only player I need to get is I just need to go over and, you know, kind of, because again, I'm going to see if one of them blocks, I'm going to the trip side. So one of them blocks, I go to the trip side. And as you can see, this is really good coverage defense. Very difficult to uh, beat this or really good uh, pressure, pressure defense. Um, so that's pretty much my trips blitz. Um, the, the, for trips tight end, I recommend, I don't recommend sending five against trips tight end. And the reason why is because uh, I think trips tight end actually has better blocking than bunch. You'll see here, if I'm max pro out of this trips, it's actually like decent. It can actually pick it up. What you can do real quick is if they do max protect against your against you in trips, one of the things that I like to do, um, and again, this is a little bit of a situational adjustment, but if they're doing it a lot, I'll blitz that corner off the right side just to kind of make sure they are aware that they can't max protect and just expect to have all day. So that's one of my other favorite adjustments. If they're doing it consistently, I don't do it a lot, but in this situation, let's say that I'm gonna blitz everybody. I'm still gonna put that quarter there and I'm still gonna play that cover two. You'll be surprised at how good that cover two is uh, for a couple different reasons. Because of our show blitz alignment, that left side player, um, I'm gonna have decent enough leverage to press him into the into the ground. The deep half will play any seam streaks, anything like that. And then that quarter is gonna play that number three receiver wherever he goes. Now, if you don't like this quarter adjustment, one of the things that you might consider, you have to understand here, there's literally nobody guarding the right side of the field. So at the snap of the ball, if I see, like let's say I see the tight end run a streak, I'm immediately going back, and I know I got the pressure in, you see there, but I've gotta make sure that if they're gonna send five out and I'm gonna send seven, this will get a little dicey because you know one bad, one mess up with your user, and you know it's six points. So a safer version of this, if you wanted, is to leave this guy in the D path. It's actually a really good zone coming from the middle of the field because of the fact that it's going to just kind of protect you against the deep. So let's say that you're sending seven, um, you know, so you only have three in coverage. This is one of my favorite defenses for trips because if they, if they send five out here, I'm just gonna jet to the sideline. By that time, the pressure's in. So they're gonna have to, you know, make some quick reads over the middle. Okay, so let's talk about our coverage defense. This is more just our base, um, kind of my base zone drop defense. I'm gonna put my flats on 30, my curl flats on five, and my hook curls on five. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna play this defense out of a cover two. And you can do this, you know, it, it's good against bunch, it's good against trips. It's really just one of the best ways to play coverage defense in the game, in my opinion. So all we're gonna do, cover two, remember in trips we show blitz and bunch we press. Uh, so we go here with this, with this blitz. Now what I like to do with this um, is basically just purple the linebackers. And then I'm going to take that lineman on the left and put him in a yellow. So we're still gonna rush three. If you wanted to only send two, then I would bluff blitz the DT on the right side of the screen. Um, whoops, did I mess up? I think I did. Oh, that's crazy. These guys have the same adjustments. But anyways, um, you know, do something like this where you, you have a yellow and you have a three rack hook. Uh, so you're sending to this right side guy is really the main pass rusher um, Like he's a really really good pass rusher if you wanted to you could um, The problem is it would take away your purple, you know, but anyways, this is just my base coverage now against trips I normally don't deep half out inside quarter even in a zone drop So you'll see here. I just want to make sure he's not on the right side I want to make sure like he's going to the right side and there it is and you'll see here This is just a really good you know, kind of max coverage setup. It'll bag the crosser every single time, um, whether it be from bunch or trips. Guys, I want to thank you for watching the video. This has been a little bit of an example of what we do in our Patreon. Obviously, the guides are a little bit more in detail, in depth, but hope you enjoyed the video. That's a 4-6 bear under kind of mini scheme, uh, something that I've been having fun with and uh, actually having a lot of success with this. I think this blitz um, is really, really underrated. I actually think it's better than 4-3 even uh, for a couple different reasons, mainly the fact that we're getting a gap pressure against a block tight end uh, as opposed to just kind of some random edge pressures. So anyways, thanks for watching. Check it out. 4-6 bear under defense.